everyone, it's Paco Panda, welcome to a new video, and today I want to do a new challenge, I want to draw with crayons. For that, a week ago I made a tweet asking who wanted to be drawn by me, so let's see who replied my tweet. Whoa! I received so many reference, many people want to be drawn by this silly panda, I can keep scrolling down and this seems never end. Sadly, I cannot draw all of you, that would take me an eternity, so I need to pick only one, but I want to be fair, so instead deciding who I'm going to draw, I let that the look decides. So I saved absolute all the reference you sent me in my computer, and I saved them with a number, from 1 to 199, because, because that was the number of references I got. Now, the one which is gonna decide it is the web page random.org. That page is gonna pick a lucky number, and that number will be the character I will draw with crayons. Let's say we only need one number. The value is between 1 and 199. Formatting only one column and drum rolls! And the winner is 195. It is Eagle Beagle. Let's throw a chicken. <laughs> I know he's not a chicken. He's really cute. Congratulations, Beagle. Now it's time to start working. Come with me. Well, this is my art material for today. Many friends have given me boxes and boxes of crayons, so it is finally time to use them. I have this old box. Probably I've had this one for more than 10 years, so you can see how much I use crayons, <laughs> not very often. I also need a sketchbook for this. It is completely new, so it will be the first use I'm gonna do of this sketchbook. It was a pretty inexpensive one, I bought it in a rose store for only $2. I printed the reference of Eagle Beagle, because right now I'm a panda and my paws are very clumsy to be checking my phone. Simply, the phone doesn't respond to my bare paws. So being a first reader, it is easy for me if I have a physical reference. Usually I have the reference next to me in my tablet or my phone. But don't worry, I use a recycled paper, a sheet that I was not going to use anymore. I printed over it, because I don't like to waste paper. So let's start with this, with Eagle Beagle. I'm gonna use brown for doing the initial sketch. I cannot just go and start coloring something if I don't have a sketch first. It is very important. It is just a basic pose, nothing very complicated. How do you call a sick eagle? Illegal. <sighs> okay, I won't tell bad eagle jokes, I promise. Let's continue with the sketch. This is very different because I can see exactly where the tip of the crayon is touching the paper. My own big paw is covering my view. And the crayon is very small and thin. I feel I can break it anytime. Well, a sketch is done. It is not the most perfect sketch, but we are here to make a portrait with colors. So let's make the colors make the drawing. The sketch was only a base. Oh, see what is happening for using panda paws? The crayon is broken! No! I knew that was going to happen, and I'm sure it is not the only time that it will happen. I guess I'm gonna make a counter of how many times Paco is gonna break a crayon. The beak is very yellow. But yellow is not the only color I want to add here. I also want to add orange, brown, and leave some parts without color. 
so it is the paper which makes the white parts. I need to confess, it is the first time I'm doing this, trying to make an accurate color drawing only with crayons. I have used crayons in pursuit so many times before, during Doodles for Charity, an event that I love to participate during furry conventions, where people donate to charity in change of a silly drawing by pursuiters. Not all of us are artists, and I do doodles with crayons, but that's not the best doodles. But this time, trying to really success with crayons, this is a real challenge. Voice over time! I'm accelerating all this part of the video because I don't want this video takes hours and hours. And there are not many things to explain here. Most of this guy is white, and there is no reason to color white over a white paper, so I'm just adding a clear shading for that part. I'm just completing the color on the rest of the characters, first adding the shading, and then the rest of the color. Well, I think the character is done, surely I can do something better with color pencils. Crayons are so much challenging and I want to make a background. I, I think a yellow background can be an accurate with the portrait. It is a color constancy for the beak and the clouds of Beagle Eagle. It is time for another eagle joke. Why is the bald eagle bald? Because it has no hair, it has feathers! <sighs> Please forgive me for this, that happens for getting together with Tavin. Hi Tavin! And this is getting done. Finish this eagle, it's getting very cute. some other details in it is done just needs my signature there you go my name is Paco there you go and this is done whoa it's eagle wiggle this is done look at this Hope you like it and see you in the next video, bye! No, I don't want to leave this soon, this was very short, even more than I expected and I received so many references so I'm thinking on doing a second one, yes, let's pick a second character to draw. If Eagle Beagle is chosen for second time it would be very funny, but then I would need to Click again, it is fair to draw someone else. Let's see. And randomly it's gonna be chosen a new number and it is... 16! Now one of the first on the list. Let's see who was the winner, 16 is a bat. It is Ouija, a flying fox. Congratulations Ouija, now it is your turn to make a portrait with crayons for you. See, let's draw a bat. I'm gonna use orange to sketch Ouija, but wait a second. Bats are usually upside down, so let's draw him upside down. He just woke up from his nap. He's in his cave. Good morning, Ouija. You know what is weird? Well, my printer is not the best printer in the world, but the colors on this print looks like purple. I remember seeing his colors on the screen and he was grey, brown and orange, so I'm gonna try to follow how I remember his actual colors. Oh, 
Okay, uh, drawing upside down, it is more challenging than I thought. Even more challenging than just drawing with crayons in Fursuit. Bats are one of my favorite species. I'm a big nerd of bats. And it is funny that this particular species from Australia are called flying fox. Sounds like a very mythological animal, but well, no surprise coming from Australia. I'm gonna color his hair an orange. But I want to do all the shading first. Shady will be purple. Why purple? Because for some reason his reference got purple, so it is a good excuse to use purple anyway, even if I know purple is not his color. Now this is tricky, I don't have a grey color on my crayons, so what I'm thinking to do, and I'm not sure if it is gonna work, it is using black, almost barely touching the paper with my black, and then I'll combine it with white, not sure if crayons can be mixed as the same as colored pencils. Oh no, it's not mixing! But well, I think it looks like grey, so it works. I think it works. Now I'm completing the rest of the coloring. I'm coloring with his colors over the shading I did before. I realize crayons cannot be mixed as easy as color pencils do. But I think I can live with that. It may look nice anyway. I'm just experimenting a little bit. The trick is not being afraid of what you do. Be confident. Any mistake can be fixable. And trust me that nobody will notice. Maybe you at first. But then even you will forget about your own mistakes. And now a solid background. It will be a mix of pink and purple. I like the result of this one, I'm really happy how it went. This was Ouija, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah, I like it. If I, if I did it upside down, I really hope you also like it, but definitely if you frame it, you need to frame it this way, like this. Well, this is my personal opinion, but I think I improved a little bit with this one. I guess I'm finally getting along with crayons. 
I'm dominating the technique. He, <laughs> well, honestly, I want it to be a third one. This third one needs to be better than the these two previous ones, and that's a good excuse to pick a third reference. Okay, only one more. This is the last one. Oh man, I wish I could draw all of you. Um, and the last one was 198. Oh my dog, again one of the last ones indeed. One before the very last one, and he's Patch Pup. Ah, look at this good boy, he's so cute, I love him. I'm really excited that this is a character I'm gonna paint with crayons. He's so colorful. Oh man, I'm very excited to start this, let's start! And again, it was printed in a recycle sheet, I don't want to waste paper. This is from Grand Zero Resort, so many good memories from BLFC, I really miss conventions, so oh, man. But I really didn't need this paper anymore, so I'm glad it is being reused. Oh, this card is pretty cute, I'm very excited. I'm speeding up the sketch because I think what I want to point you on this third one is the way I decided to color it. Patch is a really cute character and I know very well who did the reference sheet for him. It was Gao. He's a local artist. The sketch was done very fast. I think right now I'm very well warmed up. So I have faith this one will result even better. Now that I have practiced with crayons. Right now I'm adding the entire shading area in the character. I'm shading with brown and not with black. Usually shading with black gets the drawing very dark, darken that you want it. This character has many black areas, in his chest and also the ear. So what I'm going to do here is turning the shading I was doing on an opposite way. I'm gonna shade with black only for the black areas on the character and the black that touches the light will be brown but again this is only on the parts that are black on the character. Something that I also want to try on this drawing is leaving a big white area where the main light is touching. So I can give an obvious direction where the light is coming from. Something I consider important when I'm drawing a character, besides the head and the expression, are the hands. Time before I was used to hide the hand because laziness. But now I realize that they give a lot of expression. It is kind of a nightmare to draw them sometimes, but, but with practice anything is getting easier. Now that I know where the light and the shading is, I'm gonna start coloring my character with the colors I see in the reference. This part was pretty easy, I'm just feeling the colors according how I'm looking them in the reference. Be building the expression of the character while you are coloring and shading. Expressions are very important and you need to maintain them from the sketch to the final result. Even you can be improving them. Let the character talk with you while you are coloring him. I think he's thanking you for working on them. What I'm thinking next to do, and not sure if this is gonna work as I'm thinking, I want to make a clear blue edge around this side of the character. I want to try to make occlusion with crayons, because I'm gonna color the background with darker blue. I couldn't fill the white spots with crayons the same way I usually do with color pencils, but I think this is something good. It shows the peculiar technique and shows it is definitely traditional. 
I think texture may look great on pictures. Which was your favorite of the three? Did I do good or meh? Leave a comment! Also recommend me if you want to see more of these videos, or do you want me to do something else? I'm thinking to do next time trying to paint a portrait with school children color pencils, what do you think? And I was forgetting the signature. And this is done! Third picture of the day! And I really like the result, definitely my personal favorite of the three. Yep! Probably if I do a four one, it would look even better, but I'm so tired to be in first with. And also, this video surely is getting too long. I prefer to save more drawings for next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video! Thank you for watching! Panda loves you! Bye!